We need to talk about Jimin giving a kiss and what happened there. Very cute. We also have Jimin allegedly going into YG's building and then dating rumors. We also have people screaming about privacy invasion and we need to talk about that. So hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your Dumplings, he's spilling mug merch and let's get into it. Being a celebrity is very interesting because you'll get news coverage for either being a jerk and then suddenly every news site is saying that so-and-so celebrity is very rude and everyone tries to cancel them or the opposite happens and you get praised for being super nice. It's like people expect one or the other. And most of the time people expect that celebrities are going to be mean. I will say the stories that you read of celebrities being mean to their assistant or whatever are definitely less common and often the mean story was just taken way out of context. There's actually very very few people who are actually like the devil to everyone that helps them because you can have rude managers and then assume that anyone above your manager or richer is rude or meaner than your manager. But actually the higher you go up, the nicer they are because they know they need your help and that the lower level employees are actually more important. They are the backbone of the company and someone has to do those jobs, right? However, the trope or cliche that a CEO is rude is just a more interesting one for movies and most of us don't know any CEOs or celebrities so we just kind of believe how they're being portrayed in the media. In K-pop specifically, when I idols would interact with staff or their supporters and we see them being super nice, instead of thinking this is just how any normal person would behave, we see it as shocking. I tend to think this is just how people are supposed to behave and of course BTS members are known to be nice, so I'm not surprised when they are. However, y'all like to hear about it so let's talk about it. When Taeyang was at the airport more recently, there was a huge crowd that was as crowded as we normally expect. Of course, there are mixed feelings about anyone showing up up at the airport. I think people showing up is not an issue, but I do think if you're going to show up and then crowd the idol or make it really dangerous for anyone there, similar to maybe a smaller Itaewon situation, I would say then stay home because either you will get hurt or you'll hurt someone else or you'll hurt the idol. When Tang was at the airport, it seemed everyone lost their mind when he came out and so many people were crowding him that his security told him that everyone needed to move out of the way. The security was pushing everyone everyone back and trying to make a path for Tam. It's okay to stand in the sidelines and if everyone literally stood in a line, which some places in the world the fans do that, but not everywhere, but if there was a line, you would all get a clear shot of the idol if you want to record them. And then the idol can clearly see and greet everyone's faces. If you're crowding and coming too close, the idol doesn't feel safe to stop and greet everyone. And no one then is going to get any great shots of the idol smiling or posing and it's just dangerous. Tang was being super nice by waving. He was gesturing to everyone to either say hi or telling them to gently back up. And then he got into his car and he made sure to roll his windows down to give everyone a goodbye. People were screaming that this was a privacy invasion moment. I would say if you get too close, this would definitely be bad, but I think everyone respected Tang enough to not literally put their phone right on his face during this moment. I think I've seen in the past, someone attempt to do that or even attempt to touch the idol, which you should never do. I mean, there was a moment in 2017 when Jungkook was at the airport and people were grabbing him. Of course, I think we all know not to do that now, but back then maybe it was more normal, like people didn't think it was weird. And a lot of that sort of thing is still almost lingering. Even if the fandom doesn't do it anymore, like the idols, they get media training, the teachers are still teaching the idols on what to do in this situation. So there's still some trauma from it. So just be careful with this and don't get get too close. It can be triggering. Also, no one likes when people get all up in their face. Regardless of who you are, it for sure triggers fight or flight. And what if you get too close and then they punch you as a reflex? That doesn't look good for the idol and I'm sure that doesn't feel good for you. People have been wondering what the members have been up to and there's been some cute moments trending online of Jimin's interaction with people during old concert moments or old behind the scene moments. If you want to watch some behind the scenes moments with me, on Patreon. We fangirl a lot over that and music videos. I will link the Patreon in the description. When Zoom have a $1 tier that is open, if you're interested, love to see you there. But this particular clip that has been resurfacing and going viral again is a clip of the end of the Permission to Dance concert. The members were riding this huge orange thing and going around and greeting armies in the crowd. One girl was wearing something called a chimmy. If you aren't aware, BTS has a line of clothes and merch called BT21. BT21 is a collaboration with Line, the app, 
app, I think, and each member is associated with a certain character in VT21. VT21 has reached outside the fandom, and there's people who have no idea that the cute characters are associated with BTS. They just like the character because they're really cute. And there's a store in Times Square in New York. People just go without knowing it has anything to do with BTS. So Jimin is associated with Chimmy, and someone was wearing that to the concert. Jimin spotted the girl wearing it and decided to send off a little kiss to this army. Of course, other people in the fandom went crazy over this, and people were so jealous of this particular army. I bet the sales of BT21 just went off the charts here. People were like, we need to buy some of that for the next concert, so then maybe they get a kiss. But don't get one just for a chance at a kiss. Get one because they're great quality, and they are. I think I have a kooky headband somewhere. My room is a mess. And it's just such good quality. Not sponsored by BT21, but like seriously, I will accept that sponsor. Please look this way. I would be at the store all the time. I'll film these videos there. There's so many of these cute kissy moments on Twitter lately. We even have older ones of Jimin just kissing the camera as he is talking to it, or just him blowing a kiss right after he finishes dancing. And this just shows how much armies miss him because we're all just looking for moments to rewatch and re-enjoy. Well, we might not have to wait too much longer for Jimin news. In fact, just a couple of days ago, we got an alleged appearance of Jimin. It was reported that Jimin was spotted outside of YG's building. So this is the label for Blackpink and Big Bang, or maybe just half of the members of Big Bang right now. Why is this a big deal? Well, a few reasons. K-Media broke in rumors weeks ago that Jimin was going to be collabing with Taeyang, and YG addressed it how they normally address things, which is neither confirming nor denying. And this made zero sense to me, which made me think that the collab was real. Let me explain. Usually, even with ships that don't make much sense, it's rumors that would start with idols posting a picture in the same location, or they were seen at an award show together. And then K-Media won't report on this because there's nothing to report on. But K-Media broke out with their quote-unquote evidence before the internet or fans did of Jimin and Taeyang. And the quote-unquote evidence was just that the two were seen together at a party or something. But Jimin was also with Jesse at J-Hope's listening party, and there really was not a rumor there. So the idea that K-Media knew first, it wasn't even just a rumor by fans, and that there weren't even hints of a collab, this made me think that someone behind the scenes kind of leaked the news. Does that make sense? And then just a couple days ago, Jimin was reported by online communities that he was at the YG building. This alleged photo of him at the building is very poor quality and you don't even really see his face. But the online communities were saying that they were there and then when the photo was taken, it was Jimin. Again, no video or anything. Some people thought that this was like Dispatch, the news site, and their photo because it was taken like like how Dispatch announces dating rumors, and I'll get more into that later. People were saying that this was bad and should not leak, and then others argued that this was in front of the YG building, not the back door where artists would normally enter, so Jimin must not have minded being seen. Personally, I don't even know if this is Jimin. This is just a few days ago, it was announced that Taeyang switched labels and that they went with another label, who has association with YG, but is that label within the same building as YG? Because if Jimin was working with Taeyang, and this is Jimin heading to the building to record to brainstorm, would Taeyang still be in this building? I have no idea. This also kind of makes me doubt whether this collab is real, right? Or if the photo is even Jimin. Others were saying that this is Jimin and that Jimin was there more so for a dating reason. A clip resurfaced of an old award show moment where Jimin had initially overheard a conversation between Jisoo and Jenny. Jisoo and Jenny were both cracking up and it looked like Jimin heard what was so funny and he told Suga and then eventually Jimin leaned in to tell Jisoo something. Jisoo was very clever and didn't want to make it so obvious that the two were talking, obviously to avoid dating rumors because Jisoo would be the one to get death threats on her account, not Jimin. So she needed to be sly about any communication. But now one of the greatest mysteries in K-pop is what Jimin said and of course what was the joke. But because of this alleged interaction here, it's believed that Jimin might have gone to the YG building to date Jisoo as opposed to a collaboration with Taeyang, who might not even be in the building anymore since he switched labels. Personally, for me, this is all a stretch. There's no real evidence of anything, and it's just rumors, so take it as just rumors, please. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks, just a little bit comment right here. Love you. Bye.